All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of that's about to happen. After this shout out, I have to give a shout out to my main man, Zombie, Zombie Killer, the Zombie Killer, bro. We've been friends since my, my Xbox, and I want to give him a shout out for doing something special because even though we've been friends for a while, because I think he might be the one um we will be playing. Me and him, Rob, we might be playing Xenoverse 2 in the long run. Right after I get Zeta 1 and Xenoverse 1 out the way, Xenoverse 2 will be coming up soon. And we, you will be seeing him for a long time. He will be appearing most of the sometimes certain episodes. But it is further more to do. Let's get this underway. Let's get I'm gonna give this man about 50 to 40, 40 to 50 subscribers. Can we hit that mark for him? If he can hit that 50 mark or 40 mark, I can think I oh, I really believe I bless you guys for all that. For right now, time to go on to the next time to move on to the next series. I mean next series, the next episode. Hope he get that 50 or 40. Episode 3. Alright. What do you mean you live here? Exactly what it sounds like. But, 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 when I even said didn't live around and live in the area, I didn't think he meant exactly. No wonder he said it is that I was seeing them often. I guess I should be realized that there, there ain't any neighbors close, in, close into the town, but. Uh, but how was I supposed to know he meant this? Is something wrong, Quentin? Don't don't they see anything weird about this? At all? I can't live here with three girls. I didn't even say they warned me. Okay. One, I didn't know that, so but I'm kind of concerned. I'm not gonna say one because it's gonna be an asshole. Two, I could have said I'm more concerned. And three is saying no, I guess there's a problem. I'm more concerned. Why didn't I miss I even warn me? Warn you? That's a good point. I hate these sudden surprises. They they make me make me uncomfortable. Is is that God damn it. Is that the only uncomfortable thing about this? A sudden surprise? Maybe he thought you understood already. But... Don't worry, Quentin. It's all. It's be okay. Take a deep breath, and that's what I do when I when something started, when someone started me. You did make a good point there. Though. What's that? It's late. We should get ready for bed. Yes, I'm tired. Good night, everyone. She yawns and stretches and heads outside. Wait, she going outside, people. Something wrong. If you live here, where did she go? She seems outside. What the? What the fuck? Wait, why does she sleep outside? I was Confucius! Why does she sleep outside? Why not? Because it doesn't sound very uncomfortable. It's what it's what she wants and why so why stop her? Um I better um don't worry anything. Don't worry. Everything's gonna be alright. You'll be fine. At least someone beside me has finally realized the awkwardness. Huh? No, I wasn't worried. It it just um, excuse me. She flees into the hallway. Well then. You're stressing yourself out. Yeah, I can see in your eyes. Go get some sleep. Well, alright. Good night. This is so weird. Still, it's peaceful here. It's peaceful here. And I thought, and I had, and I doubt, I doubt about, I thought about those three. Fuck. Would, uh, would attack me or do something strange. You know what? I'm nope, 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 nope. Just continue to continue. It's, uh, it's an odd situation, but I'll get used to it. Sounds. Sleep sounds good right about now. Huh? I know there was something. It was more than one blanket here. Did someone take it? Maybe I can find it, or at least I can get an extra one. Huh? At the end of the hallway, Cat is sitting against the wall with my. 
with my missing blanket wrapped around her. Cat? Uh oh. She jumped up to her feet. Oh, hi, Quentin. Sorry, I took your blanket. It... Nah, it's pro. It's alright. It's cool. It's cool. It it's alright. Really? Yeah, it's just a blanket. I can get an extra one. Oh, good. I, I, when I saw you, I, I was afraid you would be angry about it. It's just a blanket. Unless it's my favorite blanket, then yeah, we can be fighting. But otherwise, no. Why are you sleeping out here in the hall anyway? Wait, isn't this your room? Isn't this the room I, I even gave you? Gave me your room? S sort of. What? Why didn't you want to tell me? What the? F Why is no one not telling me anything? Well, I don't. I don't take up much room. I usually sleep at the foot of the bed. After, after the way, after, after the way you have been behaving, though, I thought you might, you might find that uncomfortable. She normally sleeps at the foot of the bed. Well then, not getting into more detail. I'm sorry. <sighs> Her gentle side is 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 slowly easing into me to the point that anything she says it goes right past me, and I can't even say no. This is the problem, reason why this is my weakness to gentleness. I do. I some parents have weakness to gentle things. You know, just come in. Damn it! I feel kind of awkward saying about this, but if you want to sleep at the foot of bed, you still can. Really? Yeah, I don't have a problem with it. Problem with it though, if it's you, if it you don't. Th thank you. At the moment, the moment we enter the room, Cat drapes her blanket over the back over the bed. She curls up onto the top of the covers and at the foot of the bed without a pillow. Are you comfortable like that? I mean, fuck, wrong voice. Are you comfortable like that? Fuck. Yes. Good night, Quentin, and thank you so much. You're you're welcome. Good good night. Oh man, I didn't think this would do. I didn't think this would do. What do I do now? Is something wrong? Why aren't you? Oh, do you need? Do you need to put on your pajamas? Uh, uh, um, sort of. Uh, I just sleep with shorts on. I only wear pajamas in the winter. In the summer, I usually wear shorts in the bed. Exactly. Like I wear shorts through all the different season when I go to sleep. And I ain't pack any pajamas to make my stay for my stay here because I didn't appreciate I didn't appreciate it that I will be sharing a room with a girl. Don't worry, I'll keep my eyes shut. You can change. Sleep fully clothed or sleep in shorts. Be uncomfortable and sweaty or feel comfortable in shorts. Let's feel comfortable in shorts. Whatever she she sleep she's at the foot of the bed and Ali is not bothered anything not bothered by anything about this so I might as well be comfortable. I toss I toss my clothes into a pile of the floor and then climb into the bed into my, into my shorts. All done. Are you in pajamas? Yeah yeah. Let's go let's go with that. What kind of pajamas do you wear? What the. Well, uh, I don't mean to pry on pry if you consider it's private or anything, but Sabrina has these fluffy pajamas that are so soft, and I always want to have them for myself. Fuck! I don't have I don't I don't have fluffy pajamas. Fuck! Damn! Ah! Damn! If I did, I was going like a fuck. Fuck. Good night. Good night. Bullsh. Bullshit. Could I have the fucking got the pajama, fluffy pajamas? If I knew that from the start, I could have just instant, instant transmission home, grab some fluffy pajamas, come back here, she try one. Fuck. 
fuck. Okay, back to the, back to this, back to this. I turn off the light. Time passes. Far, I'm far too aware of the girl at the foot of the bed. At least, at last, I. I started to drift off, but my feet bumped and bumped into the cat. Hmm. Did I just kick you? Did I? No. Oh, good. Wait, what? I can feel your feet though, and through the blankets though. I can feel your feet through the blankets. God damn it! I can feel you. I keep. Fuck. They're nice and warm. Um. Well then. So is. So is that she felt. So is that I felt. Please don't move. Please don't move your feet away. They feel so. They feel nice. Um, okay, so whatever you say. Is this the dream come true for the guy? At a moment, her bre her breathing grows deep and sleeps on and slow and sleep ah deep and slow, and I can tell she felt she's falling asleep. This is really weird. Did, did she sleep in the room by by herself before? Or no, I didn't even want to think about it. Cur think about it. Her curl up on iron feet. But I have something. I have more. I have some more answers. I close my eyes to relax. Answers that can wait until the morning. For fuck's sake! Huh? Wait, what? There's a sudden weight on my legs. C cat? Hmm? She, she sounds asleep on top of my legs! She shifts and managed to work. She shifts and managed to work her way higher onto my legs. This is by far the most awkward night I've ever had in my entire life. Uh, may maybe I can wiggle free. Bad idea. As I dip in my legs, I need to pull my legs free. Cat grumbles and reach out to crutch, to clutch her. Punch it under the pillow closer and hold, holding my legs faster, holding on my legs fast, fast against her. He, <laughs> I can, I can think of worse ways to sleep with a girl snugging on my legs. This is actually pretty, pretty nice, but my fucking legs are gonna, I'm gonna lose a lot of blood through my goddamn legs. And I definitely need to figure out the new solution. Eventually, I fall asleep, and I wake up frequently to rest to rest this to sleep well. When morning comes, I decide to find out find about their relationship with Mister Ivan in the cottage. Sabrina will probably be the most forthcoming. There she is. Have you eaten? I just woke up. A proper breakfast is virtual to if you want to keep a good day. Okay, but I want to talk. We can speak over breakfast. Fine. Okay. Shit. All right. I don't know what to eat. I don't know what. I don't know why we don't. I don't know why. I don't know why we need to eat before we. Is that a bacon? The smell of bacon strike strikes me the moment I enter the kitchen. Bacon. God damn it! Ice. The stove is covered with fr The stove is frying pan. This frying pan. A plate on the counter is piled to hide on with bacon. All is forgiven, Sabrina. I hurry forward. Don't touch my bacon, bitch. You suck. She leaps me. She she leaps between me and the counter. Uh, excuse me. That's my bacon. But sorry. Wait, hold on. Get, don't t don't you dare touch it. Get your own breakfast. Sorry. Sorry. Wait. 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 You better share something of bacon. 
she seems ready. She's ready to willing to restore resort to Violet. Hold up! Wait, hold up! I'm not gonna bitch out for no damn bitch. Come on, thought you. So you ain't gonna shit. No, mm -mm. no, 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 no. Isn't that too much baking for one person? Honestly, I thought she made enough for all of us. It's mine. Excuse me? Step away from the bacon. Okay, okay, I just get cereal something, the fuck? Good. Punching your fucking throat. Oh, I swear to God, she getting me tight. At last, I sit down at the table with a bowl of cereal. There's a fucking frost flakes. Sabrina joins me in the entire bacon, an entire plate of bacon, which she's guarded jettisonly. Are you looking at my bacon again? No. Fuck, bitch. Greedy. You better be. You better not be. Now, what do you want to talk about? The one you want to talk to me about? All right. Well, now that that I know the three of you live here, I'm curious about you and Ivan. Is that your father or something? Effectively. What that? What that supposed to mean? He's an old friend of our family, of our families, and he has taken care of us ever since we were children. Well then, I see. God fucking damn it, you fucking must. Ah! So don't get any funny ideas. He's not our blood relative, and he's not, and but he's like a father to all of us. I need more details. I can understand. About your real families. Awfully nosy, nosy are you, aren't you? I gotta admit, it's a strange situa situation. Hmm. To be an observer, I see. I assume it it does look odd. Especially since the three of you aren't related to each other either. Is that right? Correct. All our families get along. All our families get along. Fuck sake! All our families get along with each other, and as well as well with Mr. with Mr. Ivan, Cat, Rika, and I were friends and grew up, growing up. And our parents died one day. Oh, all of them? The fleet. Fuck! Wait, what? Your parents all died? Why do you look so shocked? Why so shocked? I mean, I was it was a single incident. All six of you all six of them died at the same time? Yes, it wasn't a popular TV show with to with the premises. But that premise. Uh is there? Not, not expensively stated, but the backstory where three or three set of parents died in, in an incident. Sure, if you say so. Somehow, I didn't take Sabrina for salt of a person who dig into backstory of some TV show. <clears throat> well, there's no other close rel relative, but we did have Miss Ivan. So he adopted you. Yes, under his circumstance, he's the best choice for our guardian. He helped. He had helped us ever since. I see. The that have been very played rough time. It was a tragic event. Was was it a car accident or something? Well, was it was. Well, mm, did I pry too much? It perhaps is the best to remember is the tra tragic incident, right? Yes. What does was that? Ooh, I'm confused. 
So it was an incident or wasn't it? I said enough. But you're not our family. You're just you are a you're a cottage you're a cottage caretaker. While Mr. Ivan is away, you don't need any more you don't need no anything. Everything, I'm sorry. Oh god my nose. I guess so. I assume you had you know enough, so now stop to asking questions. My main reason asking was to figure out was there the relationship with him with Ivan it is now nah, they're not now nah, I know he's their adopted father. I understand why they're so loyal to him. I'm sure he seems a creepy guy to me, but to them he's a guy who raised them when their parents died. Not only his family, but he helped them do all the hardest day in his life. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Please, don't talk about to the others about this. What do you mean? It's a very painful topic. Kat might get upset. Rika, well, those memories will still frighten her. I understand. I won't say anything. Thank you. Is the death of her parents to why Rika is so jumpy all the all the time? Yikes! Is that all? Let's return to breakfast. My bacon is getting cold. Oh yeah, I forgot you didn't want to share your fucking bacon. Fuck you. <clears throat> As we eat breakfast, I move on to the next step of my plan. I had to find out the place to. I had to find a place to cat to sleep. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Is there another situation I need for girl? Why does Rika sleep outside? Did you sleep well, Quentin? Mostly. You know, eventually that cat was laying on my legs on the post of my. You know what? I'm a... Just mostly. You can open the window and you need some fresh air. No, it wasn't that. It, it, it turns out I was using the. Uh, I was using the where. I was using where the cave used to go. Ah, yes. That's the foot of the bed. I'm trying to figure out a better arrangement. What? What about the side? What about the side room? Good idea. I never clean. I never get. I need to. You need to clear it out. But already. But it's already has a bed. All right. Let's take a look. Well, cat, what do you think? It looks comfortable. I'm glad I'm glad you think so. We spent the whole day getting the room together, getting this room ready for her. It it would be a shame they decided now she didn't like it. But there's a reason why you don't want me sleeping in your room. It's embarrassing. I, I just have to keep quiet because it's so hard for me not to say. I was gonna say I need my space, but it could be a dick move, but she might understand. But it's kind of embarrassing because that night was weird. How? To think about it, two of us sleep in the same room. We already we only known each other for a few days too. But what the? Oh oh oh! I see what you mean. This should be a good solution. Thank you for trying to help me. You could have just to made me sleep in the hallway. That would not be very. That wouldn't be very nice. You see, I, you're such a you're a sweet person, Quentin. Well, good night. Good night. She heads into the side room. I hope she'd be happy in there. You know, let me just go check on her. And just a quick peek. I open the door. And crack, I open the door. Crack. She glanced in the room. It looked like Cat is already asleep. Cat is asleep, curled up on the top of the covers. Well, I guess, I guess that must be how she likes sleep. Likes to sleep. Well, if that's the, if that was what she wants. Well, Cat is taken care of. Nah. Oh my God, these fucking messages. Hmm. <clears throat> that's just leave Rika. What if I somehow disrupt her sleep? Some sleeping is hmm, sleep arrangements. 
I better go outside and check. Man, it's dark out here. I hopefully, I hope I don't run into anything. Okay, the door. The door is this way. Ouch, my foot. Something's warm. What was that? Even I has even even as I blink, I try to get my eyes adjusted to the darkness. A shadowy figure risen up in front of me and tackles me to the ground. On my way on on my way outside, Rika Rika I was checked to Rika Quinton was attacked. <clears throat> Wait a minute, it's not my part. Tom Fuck. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 I was getting something to drink. On his way outside to check on Rika, he quit him with the attack. Is that an intruder in the cottage? Who attacked him? What do they want? Find out in the next episode of My Stranger Girlfriend.